I asked ChatGPT to find me 10 uses for this robot dog. And then I tried every single function the Unitree Go2 Pro actually has to see how true those suggestions really were. Some of them were spot on and some of them were wild. And the robot itself, even wilder. Let's get into it. This is Unitree Go2 Pro. It's not an instructional video, nor it is a review. But by the end of it, you will have had good fun and you will know what this thing is capable of. Oh, and feel free to watch the whole video on 2x speed. The Go2 Pro can perform tricks such as jumping, dancing, shaking hands, and sitting. With voice command capabilities and a mobile app for control, it serves as an engaging tech companion for both children and adults. Okay, uh, this is an easy one. It surely can do all that jumping, dancing, and shaking hands, and much more, especially since the recent update, the normal mode was integrated with AI and advanced mode, allowing the robot to seamlessly switch from walking to, for example, climbing the stairs, or traversing some difficult terrain. Like, just watch it. The way it moves, it's really something on itself. From what I understand, these advanced movements were added already after the launch of the products, so brownie points for Unitree for continuing the development. Equipped with 3D LiDAR and HD cameras, the Go2 Pro can navigate autonomously, making it suitable for home surveillance. It can patrol your property, detect obstacles, and potentially integrate with smart home systems. Go2 Pro does come with impressively specced 360 by 90 hemisphere LiDAR and the cam. Once connected to the dock, either directly through phone's Wi-Fi or through Wi-Fi router, I could run around the office scaring innocent bystanders and my co-workers. The obstacle avoidance worked really well 9 out of 10 times. What about the tenth time? Finally, it is possible to create a map of the location and send the robot to patrol the area or go from point A to point B. However, with the Pro model, you cannot set it to report if anything anomalous is detected. An integration with a smart home system would be one of the killer apps for the dog, but unfortunately, at the moment, it's just a chat GPT hallucination. With a payload capacity of up to 12 kilograms, the robot dog can transport items such as groceries, tools, or packages within your home or workplace. Its autonomous navigation allows it to move efficiently across various terrains. Okay, we already covered rather limited autonomous navigation. Let's say I wouldn't trust it to navigate over large distances by itself. Plus, it doesn't have a GPS for outdoor navigation. But what it does have is the companion mode with this fob, which allows the dog to follow the fob while avoiding the obstacles, although it doesn't do that part very well. Let's see if it can carry my backpack for me. I'm here. The Go2 Pro is programmable via a graphical interface, making it an excellent resource for learning coding, robotics, and AI. It's particularly beneficial in educational settings. 
yes and no to that one. You can program it in Scratch-like block interface, but there are far cheaper and more kid-friendly alternatives for this task as compared to the robot that costs 3000 USD and weighs about 7 kilograms. To show you what I'm talking about, let's try executing this rather simple program and see how the robot handles obstacles in its pass. It doesn't. Researchers can utilize the GoToPro for developing and testing applications in AI, machine learning, and robotics. Its open architecture allows for customization and experimentation. Yeah, that's another one of ChatGPT hallucinations. Sort of. At least for regular, unmodified Pro version, there is no possibility of secondary development unless you jailbreak it. I'll talk a bit more about secondary development for GoTo towards the end of the video. The robot's ability to navigate complex terrains and its autonomous capabilities make it suitable for search and rescue missions in hazardous environments. It can be equipped with additional sensors that's a fun one. Using this robot autonomous navigation for search and rescue sounds a bit far-fetched, but I can remote control it to go through possibly dangerous building to find myself. In industrial settings, the GoTo Pro can be used for inspecting equipment, pipelines, or hazardous areas, reducing the need for human exposure to dangerous conditions. Its sensors can detect anomalies and report data in real time. Similar to the previous one, this only applies if you want to conduct the inspection yourself by remotely controlling the robot. It is a very viable scenario for EDU version of GoTo. That version has secondary development capabilities unlocked. So we can use the dog to make pictures and run anomaly detection model, like the one you see on the screen right now, to see if, for example, the factory equipment is malfunctioning or damaged somehow. The robot dog can attract attention at events or retail spaces by performing programmed routines or interacting with customers, serving as a unique promotional tool. Oh yeah, definitely a crowd magnet. People appear out of nowhere and start staring at the robot and filming it the second it shows in a public place. I had a lot of fun walking it in the center of Amsterdam. If you don't want to control the robot yourself all the time, GoTo has a behavior, aka lively dog mode, where it can execute predefined actions, talk and even react to gestures on its own. It could be a bit more interactive in my opinion, but it can work as a boost dog. Research has explored using quadruped robots like the GoTo Pro as guide assistants for visually impaired individuals, leveraging their navigation and obstacle avoidance capabilities. There is a research paper where an older Go One Pro was used to give feedback to users about how slippery the surface is. With some development, it can be extended to obstacle avoidance for blind people. But again, this is more for ADU version and not for Go2 Pro. The Go2 Pro has been adapted for military use, including reconnaissance and carrying equipment due to its agility and ability to traverse challenging terrains. And I am not going to show you this one. No killer robots, no today, thank you, please.
The accompanying mode is scary. In theory, it sounds simple enough. The dog should follow you wherever you have this fob on you and you activate the accompanying mode. But what I found out is that it only really works in the open spaces. Whenever there are some more obstacles around the robot or around you, it goes completely bonkers start and starts uh, bumping into things like crazy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. this. <laughs> you can control the robot either via the app with on-screen controls or with the remote. With the app you can see the LiDAR occupancy grid and also the feed from the camera. On the other hand, remote has a longer range, but the app also has additional functions which you can see here. Guys, since I'm not a rich and famous YouTuber, I got this unit on loan from a German distributor, my bot shop. Like and share this video, so in future, if everything goes well, I can make more videos about this robot and others like it. There is a special mode where you can create a map of the place, like a floor of the building, and ask GoTo to navigate autonomously between waypoints. I think this is a pretty new mode, which was added already after the product release. It allows you to interact with the dog in more or less natural language. Um, can you make a circle around the room? Okay, pretty good. Walk backwards now and bark. Can you actually bark like a dog, like woof, 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 woof? Woof, 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 woof. See, I'm a real pro at the soft stuff, even if my bark is a little robotic. Want me to wag my tail too? Programming mode allows you to program the Go To Pro in a similar way to MIT Scratch, with blocks. You can create simple sequences of actions preview on a simulator and then run on a real robot. It's meant for young learners starting out with robotics. But the number of blocks is very limited and there is no possibility to add the sensor inputs. And also this. The lively pet function of GoToPro is weird. 
In theory, it allows to interact with people in uh, some capacity like a family dog, shepherd dog, a guard dog. It sounds like it would be really great for having it on at the exhibition or at event. But if we try to actually switch it on, But it's all really mostly pre-scripted and not very interactive. I feel like there is a great potential in this mode, specifically because the robot attracts so much attention, but that mode, the lively pad, is not finished yet. Making this video was a lot of fun, but where does it leave us? My personal feeling is that I would not recommend Go2 Pro to most of the people, although it has its uses for entertainment and events primarily. It could also be used as a land drone if you ever need one. What can make it a hundred times better is the possibility of the secondary development, which can be done either by modifying the firmware or using an EDU version, which allows for secondary development with NVIDIA Jetson or in Nano. I plan to do one of those things in future. Help to make it possible by subscribing to the channel and giving this video some love.